Libra. What it be, bruh? It is me, Red. It is she, Red. It is Vera. It is Scorpion, Red's Tebo. I am back at it. I am in the building for a bonus for a year ending blessing for us to find out what the tail end energy is for 2020. Y'all know that this, <laughs> this year has been a trip. So, you know, we might as well just trip out with it and just get all of the extra guidance that we need going into 2021. You feel what I'm saying, Miss Libra? So listen, to all my Libra kings and all my Libra queens, I want to say shout out to all of y'all. Thank you so much for clicking this video and liking, sharing, and subscribing at any point in time if there's anyone that would like to book a reading with me just click the information down in the description of this video or check the about tab in my um youtube page you can connect with me on instagram all of the links are in the descriptions or the about tab and if you do not have instagram just email me i believe at scorpionrez at gmail.com and i'll help get you all situated okay so <clears throat> I'm going to give a quick prayer. We're going to get into some festive energy today. Um, I'm using my beautiful tarot dice that, you know, was donated to the page. Thank you again for all of the donations that you guys have been sending throughout the year. Um, I believe we have a new deck that's coming in. And unfortunately, the Edgar Allan uh, Poe deck got lost in the sauce in the postal system so i hopefully it'll still pop up but from what i know it's gone it got lost so we got a brand new deck that's going to be coming on the way today and i'm actually even more thrilled for the new deck it gives a beautiful ambiance of love and joy so i am i'm everything happens for a reason so again thank you guys for all the support and the donations that y'all have been sending because we got some beautiful new decks that are coming in for 2021 and i know you guys are going to be excited to see it just as well as i am so let's just get a quick prayer over the energy father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of libra you know we've been having a lot of fun and just getting a lot of inspiration all 2020 father god we've just been thankful as a collective spirit and the sign of libra that you know we've just been you know keeping ourselves sharp this whole time keeping ourselves balanced father god and just laying and just being patient for our blessings you know maybe it just wasn't this year i i, I really feel like you prepared us a lot this season because the best is yet to come father god and that is something that we know um we've been allowing ourselves to grow and to show you that we are determined to continue to just work towards our greatness father god and we're just thankful for you continue to keep your steady hand on us and pushing us um ahead and just challenging us the whole time so father god we're, we're up for the fight we're up for the challenge and we're just here to receive any messages that you have for us in the sign of libra father god thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and future please continue to give us more guidance um for the end of December going into 2021. Thank you again. Amen. All right. So y'all see. Ooh, y'all see I got my tea cards out here. So we're gonna get into the tea. We're gonna get three cards out here from this side. So let's see. What we got for Libra? What we got here? We got the vine. Seek out information that will help you, Libra. The vine. Okay. So what else we got here for Libra? Oop, what is this dog barking advice from a friend okay Libra seek out information and it looks like one of your friends may be barking at you about something what is this flowers happiness it I, I, it's somebody that is just going on you Libra that's trying to get you to reclaim your happiness right now seek and listen to advice that will really help you right now, Libra, because it seems like somebody that really loves you may be barking at you right now, trying to tell you to receive your blessings now. Give me my flowers now, okay? Give me my flowers now. Oh, shit, this may be you barking at somebody as a friend, telling someone, give me my flowers now, <laughs> okay? You know? But really, I feel like this is a friend or this is a friend standing up for Standing up for you and trying to get you to stand up for yourself. 
make you receive the happiness that you believe you should have. You got the spear. Heartache over what you no longer have. Yeah, they could be barking at you trying to get you to let go. Let go of that heartbreak. Focus on the happiness. Listen to the advice of this friend. Yeah. Let that shit go, Libra. Stop holding on that shit. Stop harboring on that shit. Focus on that happiness, baby. Receive information that can help you. Seek out information that will help you. All right. Let's see. Okay, got someone got a spear in their heart, child. Give me two more for Libra. Okay. So what is this here? You got the teardrops? Yeah, stop crying. Listen, the purse. Pay attention to your money. Listen, your for listen, your <laughs> Libra. Libra, they ain't playing with you, whoever your friends is. It says, listen, great so personal sorrows. Listen, heartache over love that you don't have no more. Stop crying over that shit. Focus on your purse, baby. It says pay attention to your finances. Stop crying over that shit from yesteryears and focus on what's going on right now. I'm going to focus on your money. Focus on your happiness. Your friends have been barking at you. Listen. Listen and seek out information that will help you. Advice from your friend. Seek happiness. All right. So, okay. Now, the tea leaves done spoke now. The tea leaves done spoke. The tea leaves done spoke. So, let's see. Let me, I'm going to take three at a time. Clarify this vibe. Dogs barking. And the flowers. Thank you so much. Okay, we got the page of cups. We got the six of cups. And then we got the two of swords. So, this is basically telling me, like, I don't know if you've been, this is something about a pastime love, someone that you could have known from childhood, have a, many, many years of, of communication and back and forth reciprocation of sharing and expressing love with each other. Um, I am getting that someone could be waiting for someone to kind of finally step up or be mature or just speak or say I'm getting some type of whisper, some type of fairy tale and lullaby in their ear of something that they want to hear. Kind of. It's like they want to kind of start from the beginning and relove some type of existence from a past life. Um, because with the six of with the six of cups, this is like really screaming somebody. And again, it's like someone that you can't get over. That's what this is telling you. With this clarifying, with the page of cups telling you to clarify and seek out information that will help you. It's like seek out new information. Information from people that love you. Information from people that truly care from you. Like, don't. Try to hold on because, again, look at these vines. It's like someone's still trying to hold on to the past. Someone's still waiting to receive a message of renewal from the past. Like, you know, someone is like waiting for someone to ask you for forgiveness. You know, like still clinging to that dream or to that fantasy or waiting for that communication to come in. And then that's why you get this this person that you've known from a long time barking at you. This six of cups. Like this person could really love you. This person really cares about you. This is someone that you could have had a long relationship with. You've known this person for a long time. This could very much so be your dog. This could be your friend. This is someone that is extremely loyal to you. Listen, advice from a friend. Seek someone that loves you and that loves you back. Don't go like thinking and fantasizing about some shit. It's like something that you want to believe. It's like believe what's in front of you. You know, you have decisions to like choose happiness over the same bullshit that you've constantly been receiving over and over again. So this is like your friend, your colleague, someone that really you really trust and someone that loves you basically telling you that it's time for you to focus on happiness and to make the decision to choose yourself. Receive your flowers while it's here. It's like 
I don't want you to wait until because th this person is telling me it's like I don't want you to see all of us sitting back being happy being in a, in a position of love receiving the type of love that we want to receive because that's the type of respect that we demand and you still over here crying you know not getting to your bag while everyone is traveling everyone is being happy just you know venturing in this place of paradise that you should be receiving you should have a ticket here but your port your purse is looking short because you was too busy focusing on some bullshit you know so it's like you have a decision to choose love and to choose yourself and choose a new beginning or focus on some past bullshit with someone that you know from high school or something. You know what I'm saying? Clarify the spirit. Teardrops in the purse. Okay. So this is the eight. Of, this is the eight of wands right here. So the eight of wands. This one, okay. They just told me to like slow down though, because I can't. Because that's why I was looking. I was trying to tell like, can you tell if when it's upright or in the reverse? So I think that this is in the upright though. But I'm still getting the urge to tell you to slow down. It's like to slow down your communication with someone. Just like slow it down a little bit because once you kind, once you slow down, they're saying like the momentum and frequency in the pace of which things are going because things are like moving really, really fast. And I want to get you to slow down and really pace yourself and really think about what people are saying and, and, and focus on what people are doing because... People may say one thing, but do another. So it's like, that's hearsay. That's what so-and-so said that they were going to do. But they could be, like, stabbing you in your heart by doing something else. So and it's like having to listen to hearsay, gossip, and shit. But someone said, well, you know, so-and-so said that they was going to do this. Well, nah, like, you know so-and-so was over here doing this and this and that. And it's like, you like, what? Someone so told me that their car was broken that they couldn't go somewhere. Well, that was a lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because Slim is over there dealing with Shorty. And it's like so much hurt, so much pain, so much. I, it, it's like a breaking down of the ego almost. And again, it is affecting the coins because you got the three of coins in the reverse with the pay attention to your bag. So either... You are too busy nursing your wounds, thinking about this pain on a surface level, and you're not getting deep to figure it out and seeing how it's really affecting you because the chariot in the reverse, this is, like, this is ever saying, like, you got bigger fish to fry. It's like you could need a car. You can need to, you know, Get other resources like you need to feel more emotionally secure and available to receive, you know, monetary blessings and things like that. But because this is telling me like someone ever doesn't have a car, a vehicle or transportation or something that they need or, or emotionally is not available to be able to get the money and the resources that they need to take care of themselves. It's like they're not listening. They're not learning. They keep repeating the same mistakes or they're just like hard of hearing or uh, again, like you keep doing the same thing no matter how many times people tell you or people try to help you or people try to assist you. You just keep making the same movements. And that's why I feel like your friends are yelling at you. It's like you moving too fast. It's like it's like every time that you can start talking to someone, it's like you you just jump into things and shit just get to start do, going fast. And then it's like chaos ensues or something like that. Like it's like whatever happens, it, it it's it shit be happening quick and swiftly. It's like you get hurt real quick. 
Like, you ain't even been talking to this person like a whole month again yet. And y'all already beefing. Like, there's already drama. Like, you're already crying. Like, you, you, you already missed the opportunity. Like, because I'm, I'm getting like someone was. Well, I'm getting like someone was supposed to take you to a job interview or to do something. And it could have been like an opportunity that came quick. It's a lot of back and forth, quick communication. Yeah, well, you know, well, can you interview today at 3 o'clock? Oh, 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 but you was just crying over some bullshit. With some, you know what I'm saying? But they, now you're getting a job opportunity, and they want you to whip your shit together. So that you, and, and like a couple of minutes, so you could do a face-to-face -face, like a uh, web interview with this person, you know, and then you whip yourself and you get, you know, and then it's like, well, okay, what well, can you come in tomorrow for a, a formal interview? And it's like, you don't have your shit together and things is like coming real fast. And it's like, you don't have the transportation, the automobile, the emotional availability or something to, you know, obtain this advancement because the three of pentacles i'm looking at it like the three of diamonds it's like um, a small lucrative change in your life into your situation you know what i'm saying it's like getting your foot in the door you know getting accepted to like a school getting accepted in this job getting your foot in the damn door <laughs> you know what i'm saying the way you want to be let's get um three going down the middle here okay you got, yeah, this is the world in the reverse. This is the three of wands headed in the other direction. And then this is the ace of pentacles. And this does look like it's in the reverse. Yeah, this is the, in the reverse. So, let's see why it's saying that. Got the fan. Romance. Okay. The fan says romance, celebration, and party. So, in regards to this, it's kind of letting me know like there's a chapter ending here. Um, there's a chapter here where you guys are kind of like just sitting and waiting around for uh, something to come to you. Um, you're tired of waiting. You feel like you've missed the boat before. There's some past experiences um, that you regret. Because you let an opportunity pass you by when you kind of should have got on that ship. You should have took that opportunity. Like, your life would have been... It's like you're looking at... Where your world could have been if you would have made different choices in your life. And now you're making a decision to do things better. With that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like, instead of me being a fan, I could be the entertainer. I should be celebrating. This should be my party. I should be the one experiencing this romance right now. I miss the fucking boat. In a situation, and I regret it, but I've learned a very valuable lesson. I'm going back and replanning. Right under this, this is the page of swords in the reverse. Uh, this is it, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, it's like the page of swords in the reverse. And then, okay, so if you guys look, if you guys look at the cards on the opposite end here, like that's facing me, you have this is the sun, you have the judgment card. Is this, no. Yes, you have the sun, the judgment card, and then you have the page of swords in the reverse. So you guys, it's, it's just now recognizing like your calling, what you're good at, what you're skilled at. Like you guys could, um, I'm kind of get. I don't know why I'm kind of getting like, they're trying to tell you to like thoroughly deeply search and investigate your options and your choices or what you could do with your calling and how you can make something of this and create something with this. It's like experiencing something new in a new way and 
Let me see. It's like it's like making a decision to kind of do something with it and change your life, you know? You missed the boat before, but now it's time for you to make good on this promise to yourself to not miss it again. I don't feel like you want to be a fan of nobody and you're not a fan of nothing and nobody but yourself. You guys want to be the reason why they're party. You want to be the reason why they celebrate. You want to be the one that they look at. You want to be the one with the beautiful car, with the beautiful children, with the handsome husband or the beautiful wife or something. like. You want your world to change. You're tired of waiting. And I definitely feel like you guys are about to plan and recreate something to change your experience, to uplift your world, to create movement. You're tired of stagnation, period. And that's on period. So, you guys see the light, and I definitely feel like you guys are in a deep search, in a deep search, in a new way to express your gifts. That's what I'm getting. All right, what else we got here? I feel like I want to go right here. Let me get two cards. Give me a card over here for this. Ooh. Okay, you got the Wheel of Fortune. I like that. And then what is this? The Ace of Cups. Okay, good. So, life moves on. <laughs> life moves on, you guys. It's no need for you to cry no more. But I feel like you don't cry so much, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you done literally cried a river like you could fill an ocean with the amount of tears that you done cried about this situation but you know what guess what it's to show you that you alive you do have feelings and if you love before you can love again so like the only reason we want to be crying in the future is we want to be crying tears of joy of passion of deep commitment of true love you know of full pockets and a full stomach. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, um, we're not going to focus anymore on this pain. We're going to focus on pleasure. We're going to focus on happiness. And we're going to focus on strengthening our finances. Because guess what? If we ain't got ourselves together, how the hell are we going to manifest and want someone to love us and we ain't got our personal life together? So, again, right above that, if you see here, again, we got that Three of Pentacles. So whatever God is trying to teach you, don't get in the way of your blessings. Make sure that you thoroughly understand. And if God is sending someone to help you, let them help you. Let them help you. Receive the help. Receive the guidance that you need so that you can get the message that you need to achieve so that you can move forward. So that you can regain your confidence. You can regain your strength. And again, that there could be some level of movement because we have two cards here of like stagnation and non-movement due to some type of emotional something because the chariot you got the chariot of verse and the three of wands in reverse these are two signs of stagnation something that you were not sure about had you sitting there waiting for something to come to you instead of you going to it the chariot waits for nothing and nobody. Nothing and nobody. So, once you kind of listen to what your friends are saying, because your friends are not trying to hurt you at all. They're definitely trying to help you. And once you stop crying and you focus on your purse, like everything, what goes up must come down and what goes down must come up. Situations are turning around. You've been... Living in the dark side of, you know, unpleasant fate for a minute here. Those tears are over. Sometimes you got to turn that pain into passion and that passion into a pocket full of money. Do you understand? I, I swear, I focus the hardest and 
I get the most creation like sometimes after I come out of a hard situation where I felt ever something was trying to defeat me or I had to defeat it. Okay, you got the tower. It says solid foundation, success with effort. You got security here. And then what else we got? We got chair empty. So it looks like someone is leaving your life. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. So let's see. Mm, I want one more. <laughs> you get grasshopper. This situation in the balance that requires careful handling. Situation in the balance that requires careful handling. Okay, so let's see what the Lord got to say. Thank you, chair. Someone is leaving your life, and then God just said for good. Amen. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'll take it. We got the three of cups, and then we got the two of cups right there. And they both in the upright. So listen, there's an empty chair. Someone is leaving your life, but it looks like through some type of joy and celebration. And you see, you got the will of fortune in the upright right above that. Right above that. Not only that, it's the page of cups, the six of cups, and the two of swords. So let's bring that one together. Again, your friends is yelling telling you trying to force it through to your ear please seek and get information that is really going to help you this is your friend trying to tell you that please accept happiness in your life listen go out and rejoice and celebrate get to know new people that's the three of cups it's like interchanging exchanging ideas and creativity and you know letting your voice be heard by different sources you know this is to me this is this is this has something to do with like network and exchanging ideas in regards to like some type of creative venture or something as some, i don't know why i'm getting like some type of party planning or it's like planning someone's party, someone's birthday, a get together or um, like a class reunion or something like this is like a group of po colleagues or friends or something where it's like it's like a social group where people get together and drink and talk and like I said, network or something. So I, I, it's good that this chair is empty because it could definitely be filled by someone that you enjoy being around like you see someone is pouring something into this cup so this could have been a chance meeting like the wheel of fortune like this could have been like fate you know this could literally be fate this could be fate choose happiness sometimes it's good for a chair to be empty because it can sure be filled a page of cups represents something new, new communication, something fulfilling. And again, six of cups means something that gives to you when you give to it. Emotional security, emotional freedom. This is like dating, courtship, love, happiness, like sexual exchange, like I'm getting like, cause it's this one card that I have. It's like the six of cups and it's like. An interracial relationship it's like these two hands like they're gripping each other like this like you know having sex you know what I'm saying you see how tight my hand is like you know so it's gripping like oh my god you know what I'm saying like yes choosing the decision to be happy I love that chair empty but through celebration and rejoicing ooh Ooh, and look on the other side, you got the Four of Wands with the Knight of Wands. My God, you guys. So this is marriage and then commitment. And again, this is something that's going to happen. It's going to be created very fast. Very fast. So please, 
Because remember, the Eight of Wands represents a lot of quick communication, a lot of quick energy that could come quickly. So if you are still sitting around being patient, waiting for something else, if you haven't kind of get over that, if you haven't got that out of your system, if you haven't learned that lesson yet, this is someone that still didn't learn that lesson. If you haven't gotten over that lesson and released that goal, <sighs> oh, 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 mm -mm. give me guidance right here about this tower, solid foundation and success with effort. Ooh, child, you got the damn devil, honey. You got the devil, and what is this? This is the Six of Swords, is it not? This is the Six of Swords. I like this. So this is the Six of Swords, and then you got the devil energy. So this is like knowing better and moving away from temptation, any type of limitations, anything that can keep you trapped and bound, and anything in the past when you are destined and you are moving towards your damn future. Listen, you got solid foundations and success with effort. So this is security. This is protection, you know? And the norm in the tower represents protection. They got to be able to get to you, baby. They got to be able to break down that wall. They got to be able to climb that wall. They ain't got that power, baby. They ain't got that power. Again, solid foundation, success with effort. Release whatever it is that needs to be let go. Continue to move ahead and understand that you will receive help along this way to help you break these toxic addictions or whatever it is that you've been going through because the Six of Swords is where someone is receiving assistance to get out of troubled waters. Clearly, you got a friend barking at you. It's something that, again, you need to regain your confidence and regain your strength. And it seems like you need a new vehicle. Sometimes meaning a new vehicle can mean a change of heart, you know. Offering forgiveness to this situation because until you forgive someone for whatever trespasses that they've had against you and let that go and receive love for yourself. Give this love to yourself because again, look at all this rain. It does seem like there's troubled waters here. Even with the Ace of Cups. This is like emotional turmoil inside that you need to let go. And you need to receive God's security while you're going through this phase, my dear. Because it's something that's had you in some level of entrapment and you need assistance mentally to see your way out of. Let's clarify the grasshopper, please. This is a situation and the balance that requires careful handling. Okay. You got the Libra scale right here. All right, that temperance, that balance. And then we got the King of Cups right here. So, again, so this is telling me that having to re this this situation over here, this definitely has to do with some type of water side individual, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male individual. This is someone that could have kept your emotions in a wrap. This is someone that you never knew if you were high, if you were low, or shit, barely if you were in the middle. Sometimes you would have felt just good just knowing that you were <laughs> making middle ground with this person, trying to understand what's going on. But I don't think you could ever understood, and I don't think you ever will. You never will. Please receive your flowers now. Receive your flowers now. Receive your blessings now. I definitely see new love and fortune. Fate, like a faded situation is coming to you. Don't miss this boat, baby. I feel like there was a few things that you missed. It. Like, if you could have gone back and did things all over again, there's something that you could have did that had your purse a little bit fatter than where you at right now. Where you could be partying a little bit better with your friends instead of you. You missed the boat because you were crying over some emotional bullshit from someone that wasn't worthy. This is a situation in the balance that requires careful handling because you did see that devil come out there. So this is a toxin addiction. This is something that has lashed onto you for dear life and ain't trying. It's like a tick. That's how you have to look at that past situation. It's a tick. It's a blood sucking 
pests. And it's going to keep getting fatter. It's going to get... And even when you... Have y'all ever had a tick? Try to get a tick off of you? How they try to bury themselves deep in you? That's like how that is. Is that, that shit trying to like... Suck the life out of you and bury itself... So that you can't... Get it off of you. But you can get it off of you. You just got to receive this protection. And then listen to what... Seek advice that's going to help you. Receive your flowers now. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. You got to be the fool sometimes. You got to jump out on faith. And let that heartbreak go, baby. Solid foundation. Success with effort. Love yourself. Deal with those emotions that are in the inside. These are your emotions, not nobody else. You know, the Ace of Cups ain't always about you receiving love from nobody else. It's about you receiving love from yourself and allowing God to protect you so that you can receive change. So you can get what's over here on this other side that your friend has been trying to tell you about. Your friend been trying to tell you about it. Now I'm telling you about it because I see this love right here. Honey, do you see this here? Do you see this here? All right. So you love yourself so that you can receive this love. And then when you get that invitation, again, when you get that invitation, you don't fucking miss it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Please understand what I'm saying. Please do not miss this invitation. I love you, Libra. Love yourself. I will see you guys in 2021. We out.